When we say post-apocalyptic, most of us think of Fallout series, eventually of Stalker series. There is a few more good games with post-apocalyptic setting, but these two series are the most popular among gamers definitely. But what if I tell you that a few days ago a game appeared, in fact a trailer for a game that according to what was shown has a chance to be a new best post-apocalyptic game so far. In today's video we will talk about Ashfall, so without further ado, let's hop in. Ashfall is an upcoming post-apocalyptic shooter MMORPG developed by a legendary star studio. Don't let this MMORPG turn you away from the game if you are not a fan of this genre, because in addition to online multiplayer, you will actually be able to play this game as a single player. Also, what has been announced is that Ashfall will support multi-platform crossplay, which means you can play this game with your friends regardless of which platform and system you are playing on. When it comes to setting, Ashfall is set in a world devastated by a great calamity, a living only a wasteland in its wake. However, humanity has survived the apocalypse, and the new settlements have sprung up around the land. In Ashfall, you take on the role of one of the wanderers, who are tasked with searching for the mysterious core of creation and using its power to save humanity from destruction. Ashfall's main storyline involves finding the secret mechanical relic, the core of creation. The quest to find this mythical item will set you on a journey across mountains and rivers and through other survivors' bases until you reach the mysterious site where it's housed. It is said that those who find the core of creation might uncover the secrets of the disaster that created the wasteland, as well as find the key to reviving the human civilization. Ashfall started showing up a couple of months ago, but the reaction of audience was not that good actually. I found out about this game a couple of days ago, so I don't know what happened and I don't want to dig, but from what could I see in the new trailer, I like everything that was represented. The world look really nice, you can feel that post-apocalyptic vibe, and also the trailer revealed some of the different biomes and terrains in the game. You will need to climb snow-covered mountains, cross scorching hot deserts, and hide from the mechanical horrors that roam in each oasis. In addition, you will be able to explore all manner of natural environments in Ashfall, each with their treasures to find and guardians to defeat. The wasteland of Ashfall is beautiful to behold, but the same cannot be said for the monsters that reside there. The new trailer showed off some of the enemies players will face in Ashfall, including giant four-armed lizards, humanoid aberrations, colossal spiders and the mechanical menaces that roam the skies. The developers say that the Dashfall at its core is set apart from other post-apocalyptic games by incorporating unique elements of Eastern culture, the Oriental style music, distinctive Chinese architecture, monster design and unique customs, all of which are blended perfectly with classic post-apocalyptic elements, creating a unique theme and visual style for each scene, and constructing a western ruling wasteland world. Beside that, the game includes realistic weather effects, glass shattering effects and motion capture for its character animations. The gameplay from what could be seen in the trailer looks nice, it really does, but not much stuff related to gameplay has been shown, so we'll need to wait a little until we get some new update I guess. The release date of Ashfall is postponed for summer 2024 unfortunately, but they will have a closed beta test in July this year and you can apply to play and test the game. I will definitely follow the progression of the game and will cover it in future, so if you are interested make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the upcoming videos. That will be all and I'll see you in the next one.